Okay, so this is Twister OS, uh, my favorite OS on Raspberry Pi 4. And uh, today I'm running PyKiss uh, because there's been a great update on PyKiss. So I've done several videos on PyKiss before. So it comes installed in Twister OS. You can put it in Raspberry Pi OS. And some other people have put it into their operating system. So Phoenix OS has put it in there. Uh, and I think uh, one of Monka's version of Ubuntu Mate uh, has got it. You'll find that Raspberry Pi OS and Twister OS run everything for PyKiss because that's what it's based to run on. Some other operating systems, you can install it, but not everything will run. So I'm using Twister because it comes with it installed and it's optimized for that. Uh, but I noticed yesterday that Jose has done some great work and put Half-Life on there. Uh, and so if you want to see how to do it, watch his video. I'm just going to do a bit of gameplay. I just wanted to highlight it because Half-Life is such a good game and it runs incredibly well on this. So if I close that down, and I'll just show you my config.txt. So at the moment I'm running at 2147. I'm using the V3D that I was using in one of my previous videos um, to overclock, so 850, an over voltage of eight, so not high. Uh, I've actually been playing Half-Life, but I forgot to screen capture. And uh, it doesn't, because I'm using my ice tower cooler fan and my cluster case, it is super cool. I think it's about 26 degrees, even running at 70 FPS. So uh, with Force Turbo 1, it stays at its highest clock speed. So let's launch Half-Life. So games and Half-Life. Okay, so here it is running. Uh, and you can see from the top of the screen that we're looking at 69 FPS. And I've got it in a... Oh. I've got it on a bit where it's going to be a bit hard because I'm not I'm not that much of a mouse and keyboard gamer. Oh, well that went alright. Oh, we're there, right? So, and I have a gun just in case. Be good if we can get up to the surface, but I think I think I'm a long way off that. But as you can see on the right, uh, 70 FPS. It, it retains 70 FPS really well. Oh, you can just push the doors, and I can't believe how good the performance is. up nice and high and the draw distance is excellent you know considering this is running at 1080 which it is oh, oh we're going, are we going up to the surface <laughs> see that guy just get pulled up the top I think I've probably got to go through here, am I? Oh, is there worth? Is it worth going in there? I don't know. I think I need to stop that fan first. <laughs> so that's where I came through first of all. There we go, there's a guy over there. Oh, here we go, what's this? That could be that fan. Go back in and this way. 
Yeah, the fan has stopped. Really clever level design. Oh. Am I just, just gonna get some ammo to get in there, I guess? Is there anything else in this room? A ladder or something? Doesn't look like it. But as you can see, it, it just runs incredibly well. I've been so impressed by this. Oh, these are open now. That stopped. You gotta crouch and jump through all these. Oh. Oh, there's something not good in here, is there? There's something killing me all the time. I can hate it up here. <laughs> anyway, I think you can see that it runs incredibly well. Uh, it is so impressive. And uh, it's really nice to see this on the Pi. So let's quit out that. Anyway, this is great to have on the Pi. I can't believe it runs at 70 FPS and it runs so well. Oh, and I'm dead. But uh, okay, so thanks very much for watching. Thanks to Jose for creating PyKiss. Please like and subscribe.